What's going on guys, GeoSnowRate here, so in today's video I have some great news for those of you who run on a 64-bit i device. And the news are coming from Hacker Saigusa, which um, has this in here, I'm going to quote, got a little something for 64-bit iOS 9.3.4 and 9.3.5. Let me explain you, he has released a new tool that allows you to perform upgrades from iOS 9.3.4 or 9.3.5 to iOS 10.2 or 10.1.1 or 10.0.2 if you have the um, SHSH2 blobs saved. So if you're on iOS 9.3.4 or 9.3.5 on a 64-bit device, that is of course um, iPhone 6, iPhone 5S, iPhone SE, iPhone uh, 6S Plus and so on, you are able to use this tool and if you have the blobs saved, of course, you can go up to a version that is jailbroken like iOS 10.2 or 10.1.1, even if Apple doesn't support updating to that version anymore and you are normally trapped on either iOS 9.3.4 or 5 or if you upgrade to 10.3.3 which is not jailbroken. Let's see. So uh, Saigusa has, um, has posted in here on, uh, on GitHub Phoenix Nonce, or Phoenix Nonce, this is the name of the application. It says 64-bit Nonce Setter for iOS 9.3.4 and 9.3.5. Something you should keep in mind is that, as I said, you do need to have the uh, blobs already saved uh, from back when uh, iOS 10.2 or 10.1.1 used to be signed. If you don't have the blobs saved, this tool is not very useful for you since you are not able to you know, save them now. You should have saved them back then and there were a lot of warnings for the uh, for that. Even, um, even Saigusa or Teamstar and even I told you on this channel to save your blobs back then. If you don't have them now, unfortunately, it's your fault. Now, uh, if you do have the blobs and you have saved them back then, you are now able to jump from iOS 9.3.5 or 9.3.5 3.4 to iOS 10.2 or 10.1.1 if you have uh, the blobs and jailbreak with Yalu, of course, which is going to be great for the 64-bit device users. Now it says in here, quote, lets you set your boot nonce uh, so you can restore with sa saved blobs for 64-bit devices only. For 32-bit, check out the Phoenix Chillbreak. And we have a tutorial on how to use Phoenix Chillbreak in the description down below. As always, use at your own risk. And you can download it as an IPA file and uh, you basically install it as a normal application. And um, you need to use CDI Impactor. This application in here can be found on the internet. I'm going to link it down below. Connect your device like this, drag and drop the IPA login and get the app installed. Pretty simple. And uh, then you need to run the application, set your generator that you can find inside the blob that you have saved. I'm going to make a tutorial on that. And then restore with Future Restore, an application that has been created by Teamstar. Probably a lot of you know about it, you know, Prometheus, Future Restore and so on. It's been a thing a couple months ago when um, iOS 10 10.2 and 10.1.1 had a bug that allowed you to still restore to you know various versions using these um, these blobs without being jailbroken. So yeah, very important. You should keep in mind without having the blobs, this tool is not going to work for you, and you cannot save the blobs now. Uh, other than that, I'm going to try and make a, a video in which I'm going to show you how to set the generator and um, from where you can find this generator inside a blob. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to. Um, to show you the entire process since I do not have a 64-bit device that is on 9.3.4 or 9.3.5. All my 64-bit devices are running iOS 10. So uh, that's a bummer, but uh, you can find a lot of tutorials on Future Restore on Teamstar's channel. Teamstar made the uh, Future Restore tool, so he has a lot of good videos. I'm going to link his channel in the description down below if you're looking for Future Restore related things. And as always, if you want to ask me something about the tool or if I, uh, if I can help you with something, do not forget to drop me a line in the comment section down below or on my Twitter at FC365. My Twitter is in the description down below. Anyways, quite a nice tool. I did not expect this. And uh, yeah, we have to thank, um, you know, uh, Saigusa for, for doing that. And uh, yeah, check it out if you're interested in it. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated for more. And uh, till the next time, I'm Geosnow. Peace out.